Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today we are going to the beach my friends. We are heading to Hilton Head, South Carolina here in a couple days and I'm taking an, a whole arsenal of machines with me. I'm taking the MyLab CTX 3030, I'm taking the XP Days 2 and I'm taking the Nocta or Nocta Macro Legend with me or Nocta depending on how you want to pronounce it because I know somebody will tell me I'm wrong. So it's Nocta or Nocta you be the judge. Um, I'm taking this machine along with me, courtesy of our friends over at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. Um, I'm going to test this out over there at, the, at Hilton Head and see what I think of the new beach settings. It's, uh, I got the latest update for it, version 1.09. I got everything ready to go in this machine. Um, I'm going to not lie and tell you that I think some of these settings they've buried in the menus are annoying and hard to get to and hard to remember and how to get to them. So I'm struggling a little bit with that, but as a I'm sure if you're an avid user of the legend, these are like, you know, second nature to you. But if you're not, I've used this machine a few times and I'm struggling with this update. Now, I will tell you that I like the updates and what they've done to this machine. And they've really changed this machine a lot. And good on them for listening to you guys out there who have um, given them suggestions and things like that. So uh, this machine is turning out to be a really, really... Um, nice machine for the money folks i'm telling you uh, i like some of the updates i just i'm annoyed at how to get around to them it's just not easy to remember and i've had to take notes so today i'm going to stumble around a little bit to show you how to set this thing up for the beach but i think i got it figured out there's really not much you can do um, except uh, a few couple little things here for the beach so hopefully it's going to work good i think it's going to work good i've seen a lot of people setting it up this way so i'm just going to use these settings and if i make any adjustments i will let you guys know all right, so we're, I have the legend turned on here. I have the sensitivity cranked down because it's noisy in my garage. Um, we are currently in beach mode. If you don't know how to get there, you just use your right and left arrow keys to search to uh, move across and get into beach mode. Um, you'll notice on the left-hand side, you have an MW. Well, that is your frequency. It's a multi-frequency setting. Um, in the beach mode, you only get multi-frequency they don't let you use single frequency because it just doesn't work very good so uh, you're stuck with multi wet for w and multi d for dry sand so remember multi w for wet sand multi d for dry sand all right now a couple other things i want to bring up i'll mention to you here while i have my notes out um, one of the things that i will recommend doing for you or you should probably do when you're hunting on the beach like I'm gonna be. You see the bar at the top, that is your, that is indicating that right now I'm in all metal mode. I have no, nothing notched out, nothing discriminated out. It's all metal, so it's A, and it goes all the way across the top. And if you wanted to change that, you just hit your little horseshoe pattern right here. You can knock it out a couple different ways. You can do all the way up to 10. Don't recommend that for the beach. You may lose some gold that way. Um, you can do a custom one or you can just leave it on all metal. That's what I'm going to do here for my experience on the beach. It's going to be all metal because in Hilton Head, there's not a lot of junk. There's not a lot of iron. So I'm gonna, I want to hear it all. So I'm going to leave it that way. There is one setting in here that I need to show you how to get to. It's one of the new things they updated uh, for the beach setting. It's one of those kooky, you know, weird to get to menus. But I figured it out. So I'm going to show you. But let's just go through a couple things up front. So if you click your settings button, which is over here in the bottom right hand corner, brings you to your setting bar. By default, you're going to be in the first one, but you want to go to the second one for recovery speed. That's set at six. I'm probably going to leave it alone at six. I may lower or raise that as really a user preference for you. Um, you set that the way you, you want to, you, the way you think you need to run. I think setting up as a lower uh, recovery speed may get you some more depth, um, but just remember, not everything's going to be that deep, so do you really need to go that deep? Just depends on the beach you're at. So I'm going to leave mine at six. Now, there is a setting in here that you can mess around with. If you go over here and hit your pinpoint button once, it puts you into your iron filter, and by default, that's set at eight. Now, I'm not messing with that for the beach that I'm going to. I'm leaving it at eight, but you can, uh, this basically is your doorway to let iron into the machine uh, or, or shut it out. Um, by default, it's at 8. I'm going to leave it at 8. I'm not going to mess with it. There is another setting that you do need to know how to get to and how to use, and that is the st stability settings for the for beach mode. And you're, while you're in this menu, under the recovery speed, when you click on the IF or the iron filter, 
you want to do one other thing. You want to click over to the right one time and that puts you into stability mode. Now by default, um, it's, set to, it's set at one and that's pretty much where I'm going to start using my machine at. Now mine's going to depend a little bit on how stable the machine is. If, if, I, if I feel that it's falsing a lot, it's not really doing well on the beach, I'm going to start cranking this setting up. You can only go up to five but a little warning, if you get the five, you're giving up some gold. You're giving up some things that you don't want to give up. So it's really a balance of what it is you want to hear in your ears. If you can't take the instability, then you're going to have to raise that number up as high as you want to make it stable. But if you're like me, I'm going to run mine at one and just see how I can tolerate it and, um, and go from there. And that's really all you got to do for the beach. It's really simple. It's just remembering how to get to the setting. Remember, let me back out of it a little bit here. Um, so we're back in recovery mode, recovery speed. To get into the iron filter, you hit the pinpoint button. Well, you'll be by default, you'll be in the iron filter mode and you got to hit the pinpoint button to get in it and the arrow over once to get into the stability mode. And the same thing to get out of it, just hit the back arrow to get in the IF uh, setting and then hit the pinpoint button and you're back to recovery mode. So recovery speed. That's really that simple. There's nothing else to really show you other than the normal rest of the settings at the bottom, your, your volume, um, your tones, and if you want to mess with any of those. Uh, I'm not going to mess around too much with it. The beach, pretty much the beach situation for me is a dig, no dig situation. Um, I'm probably going to dig every signal I get at the beach just at Hilton Head. It's very quiet. So I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to leave it the default and just dig everything. Um, user profile, you can save it off as a user profile if you want. You you have up to, I think, four of them. Um, it's up to you. The rest of the settings on over that, on over in that, that bottom bar is basically your, your display, your uh, vibration settings, your flashlight, Bluetooth, and so on. Nothing that really matters here for the beach, in my opinion. So I'm not going to go over any of those. But anyway... That is how I'm going to run this machine. If you got your preferences and how you run the machine you're on your beach, hey, drop me a comment. Let me know. And if you're looking for this machine, well, you can always look them up at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. They have them there. They can ship them to you fast and quick and ask them for, your, for a uh, military discount. And, uh, you know, tell my friend Keith I sent you over so he knows you came from the Mental Metal Channel. All right, well, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hey, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share it with your friends. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another Mental Metal video.